So we're back over uh, checking up on the Camaro build and um, it's kind of noisy in the shop right now with the fans blowing and stuff. So uh, I'm doing it this way. And uh, then he's uh, used a uh, epoxy primer after doing a uh, rust inhibiting on the uh, inside of the uh, part of the roll cage that goes in the trunk. And uh, he's finished welding up the uh, rear axle. And uh, he's now using a single stage kind of a black with a little bit of a metallic a kind of black gray metallic for doing the uh, axle and roll cage and pieces like that and uh, it's starting to look really good and as you can see uh, Denny's pointing out that he's welded these pins on the inside of the uh, roll cage and their location pins and he's done that on everything either pins or holes where he can put put you know a thin screwdriver through or something like that and uh, I mean, he's aligned all the panels like that. They've either got pins or holes to do perfect alignment first time. So um, it's pretty impressive. I mean, everything he's done is just so neatly done like that. Anyway, so the uh, Ford 9 inch has a, uh, a gear posi in it. And uh, I put one in the uh, 50, both 55s and uh, I just love them. No noise, pulling in out of parking spaces. A minute you get on the gas, you're locking up both wheels. Just a, a really nice uh, um, posi traction. So uh, anyway, um, it's all going according to plan. Let's go look at the car now and see how uh, that's coming along. Just uh, really impressed with uh, the workmanship. So. Uh, I got Max Jr. filming me today. So um, as you can see, his car's getting close to uh, being ready for paint. Um, Danny's uh, coating the trunk and everything. What are you coating the uh, trunk in, uh, Danny? Uh, what, what's this stuff? Is this, um, what's this product here? It's a uh, wire. Oh, wow. So that's pretty bionic stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice. So he's already used a, a high-end uh, um, primer in there, which is, uh, you know, he's rust inhibited, got the primer on there, now doing this bed liner stuff. Now, because Maximilian is uh, planning to use this car, you know, quite a lot, like daily driver, he, he's not doing like the inside of the trunk and underneath it like a show car. Uh, the finish has been done perfectly, but, uh, He's probably going to be rain, rain lining underneath it as well, Maximilian. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but as you can see, how nice this came up. All these uh, holes were welded in. They're doing a different uh, arrangement for the gas cap, like the modern type where you just put the uh, nozzle of the fuel hose in there. And uh, he's going to have, um, I think we showed you in a previous video, how there's a uh, big cap here, which uh, is flush mounted, looks really nice. And uh, they're going to pull the uh, roll cage out and uh, do the same thing to that as I showed you the uh, one uh, he just did inside the booth there. And uh, it's just, uh, man, it's just uh, coming along really beautiful. The lines are perfect on it. And uh, like I said, then he's aligned everything. Doors have gone on. He's got alignment holes drilled. So when we put it all together, it'll be perfect. Um, I'm not sure exactly how uh, he intends to uh, paint it yet. Whether I assume we're going to put the, do all the door jams and inside the doors, and then we're going to put the doors on. And because we're going to do a metallic with pearl, um, it's important that everything's on the car, so you get a consistency of the uh, the uh, pearl and the metal flake, etc. So uh, and then. He may take the panels back off again to do the clear because uh, if you have the doors and stuff horizontal to do the clear, um, you can get a really nice thick uh, leveling effect. So I'm, I'm not sure what he's doing with that, but um, it's coming along really nicely. Anyway, just an update on what we're doing and uh, it's getting close now. He's uh, seam sealed everything. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. So um, yeah, amazing job Danny.